It's time for some Alka 1093 Yu-Gi-Oh! news. As you may or may not know, a few days ago the newest pack in the OCG has been revealed. It's called Legacy of the Valiant. Or Valiant? Via, it's probably Valiant. Probably it's some something related to Baryon, since Baryon in Japanese is spelled with a V, it's Baryon. And the L and R in that we know it's the same thing in Japanese. And so it's very similar, it's probably something with the Baryans. And they're fighting the Baryans in the anime anyway, so likely they're related. Now, it's been a while since Shadow Spectre has been out for the OCG. Well actually it hasn't, but Shadow Spectre's um was released into the OCG on July 20th, and then we still did not even know what the name was of the pack that was going to come after that. We finally know it's called Legacy of the of the Valiant. It's going to be released somewhere in November 2013. Um, and seeing as ever since the the OCG's fourth series packs, the, these packs are also coming to the TCG, so you can expect this one to come in the, into the TCG like late January, early February. And what we do, what we know, we know a few things about this. It's um, some of its features. It contains a lot of the latest cards from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zell anime. Maybe expected, as old packs do. A ton of new Xyz monsters are inside, allowing to allowing you to completely change how you fight. Get ready to be able to enjoy an exciting duel. Sure, I, I it's Zell. I expect new Xyz monsters. And starting with cards that support XC summon, so yay XC support. That's nice. There will also be cards that introduce a new archetype could see that coming. And supporting existing theme decks. And not themed decks. So they don't mean like we're gonna like they're likely going to have like support for the newer newer archetypes. Possibly there'll be more Bujin support. Extremely I, I say there's going to be more uh, ghost trick support because we've only had the ghost, a couple of ghost tricks and a couple of ghost tricks support in Shadow Spectre. This is probably going to be more on that. Um, some older, some other cards are going to get some new cards and support. But they support existing theme decks, and it's written in capitals, which means the actual theme decks that you can buy, like XC Symphony and uh, the Dawn of the XCs, and which what is it? Uh, v for Victory. Those are theme decks, and apparently we're getting support for those. I'm wondering what that will be, and the last, uh, and uh, allowing for a multitude of variants, a variety, variant, variety, L and R, variants, variant, quite similar. Um, but yeah, the only other thing we know is the cover card is Chaos Number 101, Silent Honors Dark Knight. Now, for those of you who follow the anime, and I do, we've had, um, of the over 100 numbers at the Baryan Zoos, we've seen 102, 104, 105, 106, and 107, with only 102 not having, um, no, only 104 not having been seen with a Chaos Form. Now, we know that the 101 and 103 are very likely, um, part, like, they were under the ownership of Nashe Merag, the two Baryans that were, um, well, that aren't there anymore, because they were, well, killed by Vector. Um, 101 is going is one of their numbers, and apparently it's going to be very important. Now, if we go to its page, yeah, we don't really see much, except, well, a little bit of it, like, we see its name in a couple of languages, um, but the rest we know is it cannot be destroyed by battle except with another number monster, which all numbers do in the anime. And if this card has number 101, whatever its name is, as an excuse material, it gains this effect. And seeing as it's an over 100 number and it's a chaos number, you, you can almost be certain it's summoned by rank of magic, and any chaos, mon chaos number summoned by rank of magic gets an extra effect if it has the original number, like number 101, attached with that as an excuse material. So. That's really all we know for its effect. We don't really know much more. Um, so I I just say, what do you guys think uh, is in this set? I just wanted to let you guys know that it, it's well, the name's been uh, revealed, and somewhere between now and the next uh, three months, we're gonna well, the next two and a half months, we're going to find out what kind of cards are in there, what kind of new support we get for theme decks, what kind of new archetypes, what kind of new Xyz monsters, and I'm just gonna keep following the anime to see what they're gonna throw in. 
right. See you later.